What's up guys? Before we jump into the video, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who joined me last summer and helped me pilot this summer snowboard retreat concept. It's one of the coolest and most rewarding things I've ever been able to do with the channel. I want to let you guys know that spots for summer 2023 are available now, so please make sure to check that out down in the description below this video. I'm looking forward to hanging out with some of you guys on snow this summer, and I hope you all enjoy this video. We're up here at the top of Palmer on Mount Hood for the first annual Board Archive Summer Snowboard Retreat. We got a crew from all over the world, all over North America. Gonna get a bunch of fun snowboarding in this week. Got a lot of activities planned and we're gonna make a little video showing you guys what it's all about. Let's get it. Let's get it, yo! We're up here at Timberline Lodge in the Freestyle Training Center, or the FTC. Probably the main reason everyone's here at the summer session. And I uh, just wanted to take a second to tell you guys what the setup's like, what we're working with out here at Mount Hood. Timberline absolutely crushed the build this week. We got a nice progression section over here with some boxes uh, leading up to propane tanks, some uh, nice trickable features and some small jumps. Some medium rails over here with some medium jumps larger features down below all the way up to the pro park up behind uh garrett holding the camera over here if you want to hit like a 60 or 70 footer there's access to an airbag and pretty much anything you could ask for for snowboard progression so this week we got an awesome crew we got mike from japan luke from australia Kristoff from austria we got people from all over the u.s been an absolutely great week so far just wanted to show you guys a little bit uh what it's looking like up here on mount hood the classic summer snowboard destination here in North America. So to see what else we can get down through the rest of the week. Our first day on hill happens to fall on the 4th of July. Back here at the cabin, out on the deck right now. Got all the gear laid out, drying up from our first day on snow. And uh, we got a barbecue going in the back and grill some burgers, but just wanna take a second to show you guys around inside of the cabin. It's amazing in there. We got like tall ceilings in the great room, three stories, 3,600 square feet. So stoked to have found this for everybody. Let's go inside real quick. Day, the routine's been grabbing breakfast here at High Mountain Cafe, another Govy staple, one of my favorites. Day three, got some weather rolling in. Doing an Ollie clinic out here, getting these guys in the air. Let's see what they got. midweek so for a pick me up at the head of the huckleberry inn grab a govy classic some huckleberry shakes with the crew let's get it
All right, we just wrapped up day four on hill. We're here with Mobility Duo. We got Sarah and Mark. What's up? We're gonna do a Snoga session in the house. Yep. All right, let's get it. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Absolutely, thanks for having us. Yeah. So the one mandatory stop when you come to Mount Hood, in my opinion, is Lake Trillium. You can see it from the snowfield, and it offers one of the most iconic views of the volcano. So we're taking the crew out here right now, right around sunset, to hopefully get a nice view with no clouds, ideally. For the final night here in Govey, we're hitting one last classic Mount Hood spot to grab some pizza for dinner at the Rat Skeller.